So I stumbled onto something super interesting today and I just had to share with you guys. I've been binge watching these old school Hong Kong cooking movies. You have to see this. Like, this is some intense kung fu power stuff. Like, listen to that music and the editing. Oh, watch this. And my favorite part is right after this, see how he cooks the egg. Like, what? I have to say, I'm really impressed by the editing from whenever this was made. So this is an entire genre and there are so many videos on YouTube featuring movies like this. And I've been just watching clips of it and just wondering, you know, how do they come up with this? So it seems like one major commonality in all of these movies is the emphasis on the chef's knife work. Check this out. I found that some of these techniques actually have legitimate historical origins and the one that fascinated me the most is this really really intricate dish made with tofu. Okay, so at first glance it might just seem like mush, but watch this. Like, what? That's tofu. So obviously I don't have a Chinese flavor with me in France, nor do I have 10 years of experience and skills. We are going to attempt a modern version of this. So it's nonetheless still difficult, but it is much more doable. I'm going to show you what it is first. So he's saying the key is to manage a 15 to 18 degrees angle so that the base isn't broken. See, it's still super, super fine, but still retaining the shape of the tofu. Now the moment of truth. So this dish is called the blossoming tofu because it looks like a flower. Very, very decadent, but light broth um, made with chicken and veggies so that it doesn't distract from the technicality of the tofu itself. All right, let's give this a go. This dish is called Wenzi Tofu, an iconic traditional dish in the Huayang cuisine, one of the eight major categories of Chinese cuisine. The main characteristic of this particular category is freshness, which comes from using high quality ingredients and an exceptional effort is put into the knife work. This particular dish is said to have over 300 years of history originating from the Qing dynasty. The legend goes that a monk named Wen Si came up with this vegetarian dish when the Qianrong Emperor visited his temple. I decided to do a little bit more studying before my second attempt. So it seems like both the traditional version and the modern version uses the up and down motion at an angle. Tilt down the tip of your knife ever so slightly to make sure you're not fully cutting through. Now this is where I ran into problem number one. Without the heavy weight of a Chinese cleaver, this was very hard to do with a western knife without the tofu pieces breaking up since they're so thin. I came up with this method that really really made a difference. Tip number two is just to use water. Make sure both the knife and the tofu is soaked. This will also minimize breaking. The final tip is to use the index finger of your non-dominant hand to slowly guide the knife backwards. Now, because this is Chinese culture, there is always a philosophical lesson that follows. This master talks about how a skill like this is beyond eye-hand knife coordination, but rather the harmony of your mind and your action. This master is literally saying you can't have a single thought of distraction. So, in order to channel in all my zenness,
腹入水，立刻展现出绣球的形态，豆腐丝根根分明。So typically, this is served with a light chicken or veggie broth, but I was craving Korean food, so I made a kimchi stew. You just want to make sure that the heat is off. Put the tofu in. Let it come to a very light boil, and then you want to cover with a lid and turn off the heat. Let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then fish out the tofu very, very gently into a bowl. So this soup, I've already drained a little bit. There's still bits of kimchi in there, and you just want to pour it in, and it's done. I think my favorite thing about this dish is just the texture. The tofu is so soft, and it's because it's so thin, all the flavor is coated, and you just get it with some soup, and mm -hmm. it's gone in one bite. Oh, so good. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I am pretty tired from being so concentrated in cutting tofu. This was definitely a test of patience, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you give it a try too. If you do, send me a photo and I'd love to see. Um, anyway, see you later. By the way, look at what else popped up in my recommendation list. I think I just found my next project.